tonight, a sobering outlook for sharks on coral reefs. A recent study found overfishing is driving reef sharks to extinction. And this as NOAA is considering raising the limits of how many and what species of sharks can be fished in federal waters. Local 10's Louia Geary has tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. There's a lot of areas where sharks should be, and they're not, and that is very concerning. Scientists sounding the alarm. Reef sharks are fast disappearing across our planet ocean. Woo! Overfishing is driving important species into extinction. So what we've seen is even species that are fairly common have declined in population sizes, you know, maybe 60 or 70 percent. OK, we're on. Marine biologist Mike Heithouse led the team from FIU that joined more than 150 scientists from all over the world for this ambitious five-year study to document what's happening to our sharks. What we found is that they're virtually extinct on 20% of the reefs out there and in trouble on more than half. The project, Global Finprint, focused on the five main species that live on coral reefs, gray reef sharks, black tip reef, white tip reef, nurse, and Caribbean reef sharks. That includes here in South Florida. I mean, the Florida Keys and our reef track that comes up through South Florida, critically important to us, and we need to have sharks as part of those ecosystems. Researchers set up bait boxes and underwater video cameras to survey almost 400 reefs in 67 countries and territories, analyzing over 20,000 hours of footage. But while the study basically found shark depletions all over the world, it also found more robust populations in marine protected areas and regions with strong fishing limits in place. We have pretty good fisheries in the U.S. We've had regulations in place for a while. That includes Florida, where shark populations have started to recover. And what we see here is we're doing better than most places, but we aren't where we need to be, especially for the reef sharks. We need those populations to grow. But many local anglers are pushing back. Shark on him. Saying it's become more and more difficult to land a fish with more and more sharks stealing their catch. It's literally every hour of the day we're encountering sharks out here. It is like nonstop. The situation prompting NOAA's National Marine Fisheries Service to consider making changes to existing rules that limit how many, the size, and what species of sharks can be fished and retained, basically undoing years of protective regulations that have helped sharks come back. In your opinion, do we have an overpopulation of sharks in Florida? No, no we don't. So you may be seeing some populations starting to come back up. That's very different from saying they're overpopulated and they've exploded. That's simply some sign of recovery from being overfished. And scientists say that's also a sign of a healthy ocean. Sharks keep fisheries in balance and prevent ocean pandemics by eating disease and distress marine life. If anything, the study says sharks need more protections, not less, and outlines specific recommendations. Like banning gill nets in some places, creating marine protected areas, uh, controlling the effort of uh, long lines, and that way if we do it in enough places then we, we can see sharks rebuilding. We also see that sharks and people can coexist if you have strong fisheries regulations, marine protected areas, no long lines, no gill nets, we can have people getting the resources they need out of oceans, but also healthy shark populations. NOAA has yet to decide if it will pass Amendment 16 that would modify shark management regulations that have been in place since 2006. Public comments just wrapped up this week. And while scientists admit depredation incidents are on the rise, the solution is not to go out there and kill more sharks, but rather developing innovations and technologies to deter sharks from fishing lines. We have a link to NOAA's proposed amendment. We're following this very closely. We'll let you know how and when NOAA rules. We also have the full report on coral reef sharks. It's all on our website. Just scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure page on local10.com.